So Matt, you said you said you were a sax. Are you still active saxophone player right now? It's been a it's been a few years, man. It's been like three years now. Um, really? I don't. Have... I didn't even know he played saxophone. I'm gonna have him program some alter beast sax now. <laughs> That's a hot shit. And fucking well, I could grab. I mean, grab that shit, baby. <laughs> if I had one, I mean, I could get one. I could. I mean, I could still play. I could still read. You know, nice. I'd have to just get the uh, get the old uh, cycle breathing and dynamics oh, back. Oh, we're scummy. We do all MIDI notes, so you don't even have to play that shit. <laughs> Did you don't worry about breathing. it. Would you play alto, tenor, Barry? Alt- alto, yeah. Nice. I would have loved to play tenor. I just uh, didn't too, have yeah. the opportunity. A reeded instrument's easier than blowing in like a tuba or a trumpet or something like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Flute's the, the hardest. Theory. Flute's the hardest. Calling it a woodwind and means I, the reed. Know, yeah, no, no, no. Well, a flute's a woodwind too, is right, and there's no Technical, read on yeah. that. Yeah. Right. Well, a saxophone has a read, so you're like blowing, you know, like that. But uh, <laughs> a, the trumpet thing, it's like exactly. a fucking little metal fucking nipple, Mouthpiece. you know, reverse nipple deal. Yeah, and you got to blow hard. And you got to buzz, bl- buzz your lips, dude. Yeah. That shit, yeah, will blow your face out. So yeah, you see the dudes who've been playing for get, years and like their to do that. are all like stretched out to their the yeah, dude, yeah. because they've just been blowing on them for got years. Gillespie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got Gillespie. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing about like saxophone. You can control it. You can control the reed, you know, directly with your tongue. But it's like yeah, trumpet, right. the brass. It's all lips, dude. It's hard. Yeah. It's hard. Uh, that shit makes my nose itch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> well, yeah, no, dude, dude, it's oh, tough, dude, man. Dude, it's just so fucking bad. I'm like, how, how, how yeah. is it possible to put a long. trumpet with a mustache, or is it like? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, absolutely. It's the, it's in the nose that makes you gotta it put fucking like, itch. You got to put like petroleum jelly on your mustache. Yeah, when you play. Make sure it's <laughs> to make the seal just George. like you're snorkeling, dude. That's what you, you really got to do. You if definitely look cooler. Those gla- those goggles, <laughs> they leak if you have a mustache, dude. Yeah, yeah. Every time I go out to Hawaii, dude, I got to put like like a uh, uh, chapstick in my mustache to, <laughs> to make the seal so right. I don't have water coming into my oh, wow. goggles. That's interesting. So if, if we're using the snorkel <laughs> metaphor. I'm sure it's going to work the same with the trumpet, dude. You got to seal the deal, dude. Yeah. yeah. It's um, a pro tip right there. But yeah, dude, saxophone, saxophone seal and metal. The deal. Dude, bring it. Everybody bring out there and playing trumpet. Yeah. <laughs> Saxophone and metal is super sick, and my kids are sax and trumpet and other brass is like unexplored still. Like not a lot yeah. of people are doing it yet, but saxophone starting a lot to break of behemoth. In. All the cool, the symphonic black metal stuff has it. You know, the big mm-hmm. everybody, the brass included with the fucking violins. And the we should have like like and tuba and shit. You know, yeah, yeah everyone's they doing the sax. They throw it too low. They they definitely have it in that. You know, you know, dim you fucking shit. Oh yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah. I mean, kind of stuff. Sax is becoming definitely a, a very popular instrument in death metal. Like, it's, you know, I'm obviously the flesh god and, and all that shit. You know, those kind of big, you know, orchestra yeah. bands have all that shit in there. What Which those I would love to like, do too, you know, yeah. but yeah, it's more like a wall of sound in that case. You know, it's, yeah, it's hard to do a lot of noty shit and then a bunch of that shit on top of it. It's like <sighs> easier if you have more simplistic yeah. stuff from, from where I, well, from what I've heard. You know that things that yeah. I thought that worked from yeah, other bands, flesh. yeah, yeah. But I mean, dude, there's plenty of places. It's just like you know, it's weird to have just everybody's playing, you know, regular, you know, two guitars, bass, drums, vocals, and all of a sudden out of nowhere for one riff, you have this crazy symphony. You know, you gotta like have kind of it kind of yeah. in there all the time. You know, low key at least or somewhere, you know, to make it work. So I find I think that's kind of a trick too. If you want to make super tech death metal riffs and keep a stacked orchestra with everything in it i think yeah, it's mean, symbolic are kind of doing that right now on their new one dude alan's yeah. band symbolic holy shit bro dude he they brought over he brought over a song and let me listen to it and he had like used a lot of the plugins from the uad thing and which had me stoked because i had bought one but that thing fucked so hard bro it was like Flesh God Apocalypse and Necrophagist kind of fucking shit. You know what I mean? It was really, really good. Yeah. Yeah. The Another fucking- and shout out to the, the Apollo fucking interface fucking and the plugins on that. He was like, that's what I use on this. I was like, holy fuck, dude, this sounds like, where'd you record this? That thing we were talking about earlier. You know, hey, where, where did you make this? You know, he's like, I did this at home. You know, you're like, holy fuck, dude. 